Hi everyone, my name is Pete Samson. I'm the owner of My Music Office and I'm here to share with you the 2024 updates. This is the largest one-time update we've ever done for My Music Office. We're super excited to be offering you guys a, a full suite of new features uh, and I'm going to kind of walk you through them here. Uh, the first one is barcoding. We've been uh, going back and forth on barcoding over the many years and, and decided that barcoding is something we would to put into the system and so we've done so. Uh, and I think you're going to find that it's going to be incredibly useful. Uh, so first thing you have to do for barcoding is you have to turn it on. Uh, not everyone's going to be using barcoding, so we uh, made it so you had to turn it on in order to be uh, display those features. So if you go to the control panel, you'll notice under barcode settings, activate and deactivate barcoding. All you do is simply say yes and hit submit, and then it will generate all your barcode numbers for all of your items in your inventory, uh, and you'll have everything ready to go. Okay, so if I go to the equipment inventory here to show barcoding and I want to search for a piece of equipment, I can literally hit search and you'll notice at the top, since barcoding is now turned on, I have a barcode search option. And so that option, all you have to do, if the cursor is already in there, all you have to do is zap your barcode and there's your item. Makes it incredibly easy. Please notice the other search functions are still there. You can still obviously use all the other search functions we had before, but now barcoding is uh, live and you see the cursors in there. So it should be kind of a hands-free environment here. Uh, obviously, if you have a Bluetooth uh, barcoder, you can very easily do this on any uh, portable device, iPad, any sort of uh, you know tablet device. Um, so if you um, you know want to use it on your computer, there's obviously a variety of Bluetooth and uh, USB wireless uh, barcoders available. Um, and they're all pretty cheap these days uh, on Amazon. And I gave you a couple of links in the uh, help section of some barcode uh, readers that are, are have been tested with the system. Uh, if you wanted to assign um, uh, an instrument to, or a piece of equipment to a student, obviously you just go to assign. The, the other choices are still there. But now you have these choices to either assign or re return uh, something with a barcode. So if I hit assign with a barcode, it's going to put the cursor in there for you automatically. And it's going to say uh, scan equipment barcode. I scan the item and you notice it comes up and it gives you the item details. Okay, uh, if I want to get rid of it, I just hit the, the X and that'll bring me back to the beginning. If it was the wrong barcode, you scan the wrong one. Uh, so if I scan that again, there I am. And then all I have to do is scan the student barcode. Okay, so you can do that off of a list of barcodes. You can do that off of the principal label barcodes we'll get into in a little bit, but I can scan the student. The assignment's done. Okay, the details follow you everywhere you go in my music office, so please notice that the details are there because it's super easy to find the details. Okay, but the uh, equipment now is assigned to that student. If I want to assign it to another student, I can just literally, uh, you know, scan the same thing, scan a different student, and now it's assigned to the two students that are there. If I ever want to remove the assignment I just did, I could always hit the return button here. That would remove just the very last assignment that I did. Uh, from that student. So like if I go back to uh, the assign area now and I go to return equipment with barcodes, okay, now I assign the actual equipment first and it says, hey, there are two students assigned to this, which one do you want to remove? If I want to remove Susan Jones now, gone. And now the other students remain assigned to it or I can remove both of them. Or if it's a single a piece of equipment, so that if I want to say I want to return this again, there's only one student assigned to it. Now it's just been returned. Okay, uh, so if there are two students assigned to it, it gives you that option. But normally, if there's only one, it'll just automatically return it for you. Uh, in the reports area, you are able to print a, a complete list of um, inventory with barcodes. So you can have a list of it. So you can see all the barcodes sitting right there. Makes it super easy to be able to scan this way. Uh, but you can also um, uh, do it from, from labels as well. And we're going to get to labels here in just a little while. Okay, say you do not have barcodes in, uh, say you already use barcodes, excuse me, but you don't have them into the system. You can go to transfer and actually upload your barcodes into my music office. Okay, so what you have to do first is click this button here to download your current um, inventory. You have to have that current inventory file. Uh, and then when you do so, the far right column is going to be uh, your barcodes. And it's going to show all the barcodes that are currently in there. And then you just replace that field with the barcodes that you want to uh, use. Okay, it will overwrite when you uh, choose the file down here and upload. It will overwrite all the barcodes that are in the system to this uh, to the barcodes that you want. Uh, but just make sure that you have that uh, have that in there. The only other option you can do is in the control panel. You can set it to automatically default to uh, your in, uh, your inventory number. So in equipment, if you want to use the MMO generated barcode number, you can do that, or you can do uh, your uh, equipment inventory number. So if you are in uh, this, the equipment area here and you're looking at a record and that record has an inventory number, you could default to that. 
okay? If you want to default to that but use a different one, you're gonna have to erase it and then change it down here. Notice you can change uh, the barcode number down here at any time. So if I wanted to change my barcode number to something different, I can do so right here and then hit Submit Edits and we'll save that barcode. So you can do it one at a time, but if you wanted to upload them, you can do that as well. So for music and uniforms, uh, the barcoding system works very similar to what you just saw. The biggest difference in the uniform area uh, is that when you go to assign a bar, uh, a uh, piece of equip or uniform, excuse me, by barcode, you're gonna have to assign, you're gonna have to scan the student first. Okay, so if I go and I scan, scan a student, you'll notice it now shows everything assigned to that student. Okay, because a lot of times when you're doing a barcode assignment for uniforms, you're doing more than one piece. And so we wanted to let the student be assigned first, and then now you can just scan more items. So there's already a pet band uniform assigned to the student, but if I want to assign some dress pants, now I've assigned that. If I need to assign some shoes, now I've assigned that. So we're all just kind of boom, boom, boom down the line for that particular student. If you want to change students, you can hit change students, and then bring it back to the beginning. We can scan the, scan that student again. If you want to return items for a stu uh, for uh, uniforms, it's the same thing as before. Now you're going to actually return, you're going to scan the uh, barcode. So if I scan that shoe barcode, now it's been returned. If I scan um, the dress pants barcode, it has now been returned. Okay, um, so if you wanted to easily find, uh, you know, what, it, how, what items have been assigned to a student, you can just go here and scan the student, and then you would be able to see everything already assigned to that student uh, pretty quickly. Boom, it'll show everything. I returned the other two, so now obviously it's only showing the two that are here. All right, so that's just a little different there uh, in um, the uniform area. You can also default the uniforms to the inventory number uh, as well. With students, barcodes uh, can be assigned to the student ID number. Okay, so if you are uh, if you have a student ID number set up in the system right here, you can make the, the barcode default to that if you wish in the options there and the control panel as well in the barcode options. Okay, you'll notice once again, the barcode's always displayed down here and if you wanna change it, you can change it. If you have set it to a default of inventory or ID number, it may actually um, do not give you that option until you erase the number that's uh, there because otherwise it's going to default to that number. So um, if you want to print off once again a, uh, a list of students with their barcode numbers, uh, you can just go to reports and then here's a list of all your bar students and all their barcodes. Makes it super easy. Now I'm going to jump to labeling real quickly because we're kind of here uh, in this area. So if you notice in the student area, it's always under reports. And so you, in the student area, here is your bar, uh, your label choices. We've been able to work in a full suite of label options uh, into MMO, which will hopefully make life a lot easier, both for barcoding and other things. Uh, right now, everything with the Avery 5160 labels, the 3x10 address labels, uh, are all in the system. We're, we're getting the 5163 and 5167, which are the, uh, the, the shipping labels and return address labels. Those will be in here very shortly. But we wanted to get things launched, and we wanted to make sure everything's ready to go. So if I go here and I say I want to choose a label here, if I want to choose full uh, a full directory of labels for address labels, I can do address labels. If I want to do it just by an ensemble, I can do it just by an ensemble or a grade level. Okay, so if I want to print all my freshman bar, uh, sorry, not barcode labels, address labels, then I click there and I just said generate labels, create my labels, and then this is my one freshman I have in the CEST account here, and it gives you those labels right there in a PDF ready to print. Okay, you'll notice when I went to, I'm going to change it to a different thing here. Let's change it to uh, an ensemble. Let's do show choir. Okay, I'm also gonna change the starting label. Okay, so let's say I have a partial sheet of labels I wanna use. I wanna actually start in the third row in the second column of labels. Now when I go here, here are all the instructions. Now I kind of breezed over this before. These are very important instructions for printing uh, labels. Okay, number one, you need to print from the Adobe uh, Reader and Viewer. Okay, that is gonna give you the best options as far as uh, printing the PDF from actual size. Okay, so when you go here, you see actual size. It's actually going to print it to the full outside. It's going to line things up. Okay, uh, so don't print it from a web browser. Make sure you print it from the Adobe Reader. That really is going to make a very big difference. And read these instructions very carefully. Do a test print on a piece of paper. Uh, and, and you might have to change a little tweak, tweak a couple settings here based on your computer, based on your printer. Uh, but everything should work really well. Then I hit create my labels. And you notice it starts in the third row in the second label. And then look at that. There's my address labels. Super, super easy to be able to print those off. If I wanted to do barcode labels, I could do the same thing. So if I wanted to do a full barcode student inventory barcode labels, and I want to start from the very top of the page here, 
gives me my instructions. And then here are my barcode labels. Try to make this just as easy as possible. So let's say you want to print an individual label. If I go to a student, the student information area and I click on details, you'll notice that there is this label uh, right here with a little printer icon. I click on that and it's going to open up a pop-up window. Okay, here's my pop-up window. Okay, then I just choose my label type. Do I want an address label or a barcode label? Where do I want to start that label? And then here again, I can print my single label. That's the exact same thing in all of the different uh, areas of the system here. Okay, so if I go to uh, equipment and I click on details, once again, here is that label. I can print that single label right here. I can print a label without the barcode or with the barcode. If I want to start it in row two in the third column. Create my label and then there it is. Okay, we tried to include all the pertinent information about uh, the equipment and students and such on the labels to make it as easy to get around as possible. All right, so you can print labels for, uh, individually from browsing through the records. You can print labels uh, in bulk by going to the reports area, but we hope the labels are going to be incredibly helpful for you. Here in instruments, we also have the equipment contracts. This is also something that has been asked for uh, for a little while, and so we found a way to make this work really, really well for you. Okay, so in the options area, you have to go here and set it up first. Okay, you can upload a logo. That's my barcode reader turning off. Um, if you... Um, if you, you can up, upload a logo here. So if you want to have your, um, you know, systems, uh, your program's logo in the corner of the equipment contract, you can do so here. But then here is where you can create your custom equipment contract. Okay, if I click here, you'll notice I have uh, the information about the, uh, the school up here. And then down here, I have the actual text for the uh, equipment contract. This is completely formatable in any way that you want. Use the, fe uh, the features up here. You can paste from Word. Uh, you can do all the things that you normally do to create your actual con uh, text for your rental agreement. And then down here at the bottom, you can choose the different signatures that you uh, would like to collect. So if you want to collect student, parent, and director signatures, those are the ones that are on right now. Great. If you want to add the principal to it, you can. Or you can want to take off the student and you just want parent or director. You can do all those different options down there and it will print all that information. Now, when you're ready, you click here and that's going to show you your equipment contract. Okay, it's going to show you the school information you put at the top. Then it's going to have the student information, the equipment information, the body of the text that you put in there. And then it's going to give you the different signature lines that you chose. Okay, try to make it as easy as possible. And you say, okay, I want to go back and make edits or everything looks good. If I say everything looks good, here you go, you're done. Okay, and then you can either uh, browse your equipment inventory to print individually. So if I go here uh, to the Salto saxophone and I see right here, there's a, a little logo next to the student assigned. When I browse it, click on it. There's my equipment contract for that piece of equipment. Okay, if I want to print them all, to, you know, all at once, I can go to reports. I can choose my equipment set. I can do it by student or I can do it by equipment. Okay, so if I do it by student, do alphabetical by student. Here's all of my contracts. And when you go to print it, it will print impagnated and they're ready to go. And once again, if you have a logo, it will show up in the top right corner of the equipment contract. We just, again, wanted to make things just as easy as possible as we always do uh, to be able to help you out in some of these features. Uh, so you can go and you can, uh, in the options area, you can, uh, you know, set your equipment contract, upload your logo, and then they'll automatically appear. Uh, ready to go. So those are the three major, major updates in the system this year. We have our barcodes, we have our labels, and we have our equipment contracts. There are lots of little updates throughout the system here. And when you go to log in, uh, you're going to see, and you are seeing right here on the same screen, uh, this list of the features that we have here, barcodes and equipment contracts and labeling, and then all the other little tweaks and features that we've put in the system. Uh, and we really hope this is very useful for you. If you have any questions, obviously you can contact us, webmaster at mymuseoffice.com or fill out a help desk ticket. We are more than willing to help. I uh, hope you have a great school year. Hope you enjoy these features. Take care. Bye-bye.